Hello Minecraft fans, welcome to a quick tutorial by Eat. And today I'm gonna make this mine farm, this mine farm, my farm automatic. And you may remember this, this is my greenhouse in my Let's Play series. And I actually recreated it quickly in my test world, because I wanna do something with it, I wanna make it automatic. Okay, but uh, first I'm gonna start off by digging away all these blocks and all the dirt. Because I'm gonna place a bit uh, some pistons right underneath it. And while I'm digging it away, I can give you a little update about what has happened so far in the past few days. Because something dramatic happened. I contracted a virus. And that virus infected my computer. And while it infected my computer, it did a lot of damage. So I had to fix it by removing the virus but still the damage that was done was left on my computer so there was only one way to get rid of all the damage that was there and for example a thing that was uh, being damaged is that I couldn't access anything in my computer to change my settings for example I couldn't access my task manager I couldn't access my registry and yeah stuff like that was really annoying so I had to refer to a backup and it took me two days to actually fix all of that and after that I had to reinstall most of my programs again and I also lost some data I lost my intro to my Minecraft let's play series so that means I'm gonna have to make a new intro really soon but that's not really a problem because I already planned on making a new intro and with my new texture pack uh, being finished really soon, because I am working on my texture pack, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, I'll be recording a new intro really soon, and probably already done in the next episode. I'm gonna make a test video so you can give your comments on it. And I hope you will like my new intro once it's finished. Um, besides that, I've been uh, working on putting my world in the 1.1 update let's grab some pistons and I'm gonna tell you quickly what I'm gonna do next you saw all the dirt that was here I'm gonna place a few pistons underneath it and then I'm gonna replace the dirt but anyways back to my topic before um, I have transferred over my world to 1.2.3 which is the most recent update as the moment that I am making this video so it will probably be outdated as soon as I upload it because a lot of fixes are being made but it doesn't really matter I am at 1.2.3 and that means I have a lot of new things in my let's play world I actually had to delete part of the terrain that I've already explored in that was also one of the reasons I held back on uploading my Let's Play world. But now that I deleted all the area that is like on a little bit of distance from my base, my save file has become quite a lot la smaller. <laughs> I wanted to say larger, but I meant smaller. So that means I'll be able to upload it and you'll be able to download it. And I'm gonna do that really soon, so be a little bit patient and... Just wait until I post it in my video and I will let you know. I'm also working on my texture pack and once that is finished I will upload that as well so you can also play around with that. But let's scrap a hoe and let's put this hoe to work. <laughs> no pun intended. But I'm gonna already till this grass just to save me a bit of time and this is not grass, this is a dirt. Derp dirt. So yeah. Uh, that was the boring part. I'm gonna work on some redstone now, so you're gonna have to pay attention if you wanna recreate this thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna replace that later. Um, let's clean up a little bit before we're gonna start to work. And it's a little bit dark here, so... Yeah. Um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna dig out these blocks and just place a few blocks a bit lower, just the center one, and we're gonna replace it by a lower row of blocks. Oh, that was a bit too much, but I have to get rid of this row anyway. So, here we go, we have now uh, the side block of the tree is uh, directly connected to the pistons. We're gonna place torches on the middle block, 
and we're gonna place some torches up here and not there and we're gonna place a few torches right over here and we're gonna put our blocks up there and as you can see everything is now extended but I don't want it extended so I'm gonna make another row underneath here and I'm gonna make another few torches on that block and this will actually turn off all the torches that are up there retracting all of the pistons so I'm gonna do that quickly on the other side too torches on all sides of that block except for these sides and on top of it and then a row of blocks right underneath it and also right underneath here and back some torches right on there and now I think we can place redstone on glowstone so if that works uh, where's my glowstone Let's see can we place redstone on it? Yeah. So I'm gonna actually place a bit of glowstone underneath here to get some light up here in this bit. <laughs> so, yeah. This should uh, light up my area well enough. I'm gonna put some blocks on these sides. And I'm just gonna place a whole floor. You don't have to put glowstone in here. That doesn't really matter. I just want to uh, light up this area just a bit. So let's grab a set of repeaters. And where are my repeaters? I always have to look for repeaters. It's one of the things that I find really hard to find. I think all the redstone stuff should be quite in the same location. And there's my repeaters. So I can get rid of this button for now. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna first make another layer of blocks. And this is gonna be in front of these blocks that are underneath the pistons on the sides. These are the pumpkin patches and the melon patches. And right now they are all pumpkins because I was too lazy to get melons in there. So I'm gonna make two rows of blocks right in front of here. And I'm gonna put repeaters in front of every block that is underneath the piston. So that's eight repeaters in total. I'm gonna add one tick to each repeater. From there I'm gonna put a wire right behind it. And this wire is gonna go down like a staircase. And it will ascend until this platform. And I'm gonna put a bit of redstone right here and then a repeater at the end because otherwise my current will not go far enough. So from here we're gonna add the redstone to both torches on each side. And from there we're gonna add a repeater every block. And I cannot raise, place repeaters on here, only redstone. So I'm just gonna get rid of that again. And I'm gonna replace it with some cobblestone but you can make this out of any material doesn't really matter it's just for aesthetic purposes and I place some clothes on there and so you can see it really well so from there we're gonna add one tick uh, two ticks one two three ticks and four ticks and four ticks and one repeater which makes five ticks and we're gonna do the same on the other side but we mirror it to this side so this should have five ticks this should have four ticks this should have just one tick so that's all and we're gonna connect all these repeaters together with some redstone wire doesn't matter how you wire it it can be a bit messy as long as everything is connected and from over here we're gonna go up again to this line of pistons and I'm gonna make a platform on this side just as I did on the other side and I'm gonna place repeaters in front of every block that is touching a piston. And I'm gonna place a line of redstone underneath it. And then I'm gonna place a block right over here to... Oh, not right there. I'm gonna place a block right here. And that will have a torch on it. So all the repeaters are being powered and then I'm gonna add another block right underneath there and that will have a torch that will turn them off again so we're gonna count how many ticks do we have 
from here to here. Let's see. This is one tick, this is two ticks, this is three ticks, and this is uh, five ticks, seven ticks, seven ticks. So, seven ticks and three ticks, so we need just four more ticks to go to. Oh, wait, four more ticks. Yeah, I think I need four more ticks instead of five ticks. Um, I have to calculate this a bit now. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five ticks, six ticks, seven ticks, and this is four ticks, five ticks, six ticks, seven ticks, and we're gonna add one delay to it, so this is at eight ticks. And now everything is hooked up and everything is placed in order, going from two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, five ticks, six ticks, seven ticks, eight ticks, and nine ticks. Yeah. This is gonna have a little bit more. And from now on, we can hook this stuff up. And I'm gonna hook it up to a button. But before I hook it up to a button, I'm gonna add a pulse limiter. And a pulse limiter is actually really easy to make. Just a block with the thoughts on the sides. And that will power everything. And then we're gonna go over three blocks to this side. And we place another block on the other side of it. And we're gonna place a torch right here on the same side as on that block. And we're gonna hook up the wire to that torch over the block and to the other side. And then we're gonna add two repeaters. And this is gonna have the max delay, four ticks. And this is gonna have just two ticks delay. And we're gonna add the wire to over here. And let's bring it up a bit. And I'm gonna place the button somewhere else, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna place it right over here and I'm gonna get rid of these pillars that are obstructing the view. So, yeah, let's place the wire over here from on top of the block with the torch on it to right over here. And we're gonna add a button to our inventory. Where is my button? There is my button. Ooh, I found it really quick. So yeah, let's just uh, put some stuff on here so we can actually demonstrate it. And I'm gonna quickly replant that uh, seed. What was it? Uh, let's grab a melon over there. And let's grab a stack of melon blocks. Where are they? Uh, I'm really wasting time just looking for blocks. Like melon. Just what I needed. So right over here and I'm gonna put a seed over there. And I don't really see the seed, but it should be there. Uh, let's go down. Oh wait, it's not tilled. There we go. You see the outline, but you cannot see the seed itself. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna tilt this, and I'm gonna replant all of the wheat that was right over here. All right, everything has been replanted. Right now, we can test out our circuitry and see if everything works as it's supposed to work. Let's put a block this button on the side of the block. And we're gonna push it. And there we go. Everything goes in a wave from left to right and drops down. And the only thing you have to do is just replant all the seeds over here and wait for it to regrow. So you can really quickly go through this farm and just grab all the loot and just come back later and collect the rest of it after you replant all the seeds. <laughs> that doesn't take that long. You can just really quickly go over it and just to for the fun of it, let's see that effect in work another few times. There we go. Like a perfect wave. It's awesome. So yeah, it goes in here goes through this pulse limiter which limits the pulse to a really short pulse and then it goes through all these pistons with a bit of delay on every next piston. So that's my uh, tutorial. I hope you could follow it a bit and I'll see you in my Let's Play series really soon. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy your day. Goodbye. Oh hi there Minecraft fans, welcome to a quick tutorial by Eats. 
and in this tutorial I want to clean up all the mess that I made right underneath here and I want to equip some of the stuff in my hotbar let's just drop this torch and get some repeaters or maybe not uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>